Hey guys, it's Charlotte, and today we're going to be kicking off a brand new series on this channel called the Soko Glam Curation Update. In this regular series, I'm going to explain to you guys why these products make the cut on Soko Glam Curation. As you know, we test and filter through hundreds of products a year, and you guys may have that simple question of why it made the cut on Soka Glam and what makes the product so special. Sometimes we go in depth and review these products on the clog, but we also wanted to quickly round these up for you on YouTube. All right, let's get started. Let's start off with a Benton fermentation eye cream. I, first of all, love Benton. They really, really care about the ingredients that they put into the formulas and their price point is pretty affordable. So I was really intrigued about this eye cream actually years ago and I tested it and I love the ingredient list. But one thing that really caught me off guard was that the packaging wasn't so nice. The tip of this product actually was really blunt and it, so it kind of hurt when I put the eye cream on my hand or even near my eye. And I thought that the packaging needed to be improved and I gave that feedback to Benton. And about a year later, I noticed that the packaging did improve. So this officially made the cut and is now on Soka Glam. You guys are going to love the price point. It is one of our most affordable eye creams on Soka Glam. I love the ingredients in this eye cream. The first ingredient is actually Galactomyces ferment filtrate, and it also has hyaluronic acid and ceramides to nourish and really pump up those fine lines. The next set of products I want to talk to you about are the APU Pure Milk Sheet Masks. So I have to be honest, one of the main motivations of curating this product is because the packaging is so adorable. When it comes to sheet masks, you know, I just really like to pamper and enjoy myself. I like to Instagram about them. It really is about the whole experience. So I believe that you guys will also love this adorable packaging. So that was one of my motivations behind curating this. Back when I lived in Korea, I used to live near a convenience store and I used to pick up a coffee milk and banana milk every other day on my way to work. So this kind of brought me back and I, I really like how they have so many different flavors. Strawberry, green tea, banana, chocolate. So there's really every flavor that you could ever wish for and I thought these were really fun and you guys would enjoy them too. The next product I want to talk to you guys about is the E-Nature Marshmallow Cleansing Foam. And one of the reasons why I love E-Nature is because they use one of my favorite ingredients, birch juice, in most of their products. And this marshmallow cleansing foam has that ingredient. And number two is the fact that it contains this really unique ingredient called marshmallow. And marshmallow is not only the snack or dessert that you eat that's really fluffy and soft, it also is part of an herb. So marshmallow herbs are used in a lot of sensitive skin-friendly products. And that's why this cleansing foam is good for sensitive skin types. And the pH of this product is around seven. And I know that's a little bit higher than what we usually like to recommend, but I noticed that because this product has birch extract in it, it really doesn't leave your skin feeling dry or tight. So pH isn't always everything. You should also think about the other ingredients that are in the product that can affect the way your skin feels. So the next product we curated is a Super Aqua Cell Renew Essential Moisturizer. So this was curated because everyone loved the Super Aqua Cell Renew Cream. And so I wanted to share with you guys the differences between the two. So this is one of our best-selling moisturizers. You guys love it because it's very lightweight and it's great for oily and acne-prone skin types. This is also great for oily and acne-prone skin types because they're very it's very lightweight as well. And it also contains 40% stalomycin. This contains 70%. The reason why I thought this was a great alternative to this product is because for those with drier skin types, this is a little bit more emollient, it's a little bit more hydrating, locks in that moisture, and also it comes in this really hygienic pump. Um, that's one of my gripes about this product. I love this product, but I wish it wasn't in a tub because I always love using my moisturizer from a pump so you don't get your fingers in them. Lastly, I really like the price point of this. This is $33 versus $45, so if you're wanting to get started on your first nail amusement product, this is slightly more affordable. Next up are the Clavio body products. I curated the Clavio Real Pro Edition, the Classic, which is a body wash, and then this is also called the Classic, but it's a body essence. So this is obviously something you use in the shower to set up your body and to clean it. Um, this is the moisturizer you put on afterwards. So the reason why I curated these two products is because you guys have been asking for more body products. 
I know you guys like taking care of the skin on your face, but you guys have been craving body products. And I love the fact that they both include pearl extracts. You know, Clavi always puts pearl extracts in their formulas to brighten the skin. Also, the essence contains niacinamide and water, water lily. So these are all great natural brighteners and they're great hydrators as well. So next, we're gonna actually talk about a makeup product. On Soka Glam, we don't carry a ton of makeup, but I do love curating cushions or BB creams because I personally use them and I know you guys like them too. So this is new to Soka Glam. They are the Han Skin Contouring Packs. And I think that even though this is not a cushion, this kind of textured, creamy, uh, compact is really underrated. When Hanskin came out with theirs, I was really, really intrigued because I love them. First of all, I think they're great for the winter. It really helps create a even tone complexion and it looks really, really natural. But I also like the fact that this came with a little bit of a contouring portion of the compact. So it can help me kind of define my jawline and also around my nose area. So this was kind of best of both worlds in one compact. The Hanskin contouring packs comes in two shades. I know it's a little disappointing because we want as many shades as possible but you know Hanskin does cater to Korea first and foremost so these are the only two shades I could curate it's the M22 and the L21 they're both fairly light shades so I highly recommend you checking these out if you are light skin toned or beige skin toned I absolutely love the next set of products I'm gonna introduce to you guys it is a Tooth House Soon Jung line and this line is great for sensitive skin types and just anyone that really cares about paraben-free, fragrance-free formulas. I don't know if you guys know that in Korea, there's actually a very big pollution issue. It's called yellow dust, and a lot of people have sensitive skin because of that. You can actually sometimes see the yellow dust particles in the air. It's a really big issue. A lot of Korean beauty companies are coming out with products to help protect people's skin because of this issue. That's why you may be seeing a lot of ingredients like Madagascoid, Centella Asiatica extract, in many of Korean Beauty products. The Soonjun line, like this relief toner, is very low pH. It also has a very, very minimal ingredient list. If you check out the ingredient list on Sogo Glam, it's pretty simplified. You're not gonna see any parabens, you're not gonna see any added fragrances, you're gonna see a lot of sensitive skin friendly ingredients in them, and it's very different from the typical Etude House product. Um, I thought it was interesting because Ivan Lam, who, who we recently interviewed on the clog, he recently talked about how his skin is super duper sensitive, and he loves this line. This is their pH 6.5 whip cleanser, so it does have that whip texture, but it doesn't dry your skin, and it's pretty fairly low pH. This is a 10 free moist emulsion. So emulsions are lightweight moisturizers. It's slightly lighter than a regular cream. It's very, very simple and no fragrance, which I love in any moisturizer. So here are the Soonjung Dry Capsule Sheet Mask that we curated recently. And what's really interesting about this is that you can put your very, very favorite toner or essence into these pods and make your very own sheet mask. So one of the biggest requests that I've gotten is that I wish my favorite toner was in a sheet mask because people love putting that onto their skin and letting it soak for at least 20 minutes. Now you can do that with these really nifty travel-friendly capsule sheets. So many of you have already heard about this, but this is the Aqua Licorice pH Balancing Cleansing Toner. And this has been one of my holy grails as of late. And I know you guys have been loving it too. Um, I've been actually getting tons of questions about this product, so I decided to bring it as part of this series. First of all, I wanna talk about why this is so special. It contains licorice extract, which is a natural brightener, and it contains a lot of it. It contains licorice water plus extract. I love the way it smells. It smells a little bit citrusy. Um, and it removes so many impurities from my skin. I've actually double cleansed, taken a shower, and then used this on a cotton pad, and I swept away the impurities, and I'm so embarrassed to admit that there's actually a lot of impurities left over on the cotton pad. Now, how does it compare to the Clare Supple Preparation Toner? Well, the Clare Supple Preparation Toner is actually a lot more hydrating. I would use this more for drier skin types, and this would be better for normal combination to oily skin types. Now, how does that compare to the Soda Park Beauty Water? So, I mean, this is, a tough question. People are asking me all the time, what should I get? Should I get the Soda Park Beauty Water or the Aqua Cleansing Toner? Well, the Soda Park Beauty Water I use during the day 
And I use this during the night because it removes so many of my impurities and makeup so well. But I really just alternate between the two. It's a really close call. It's so hard to choose because they're just very similar in many ways. I would say that this has more of a brightening aspect and this has more of a hydrating aspect if you really wanted me to pare it down. So the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence is not the newest product on Soka Glam, but you guys have been talking a lot about it, have some questions, so I wanted to share with you my thoughts on this essence and why it's so special. So first of all, this contains 93% fermented ingredients, and that's a huge deal because not a lot of products can say that about their formulas. This contains birch extract, which is really hydrating. It contains rice, fermented rice. It contains fermented yeast. So that's basically the main four core ingredients in this bottle. And I love how it doesn't have any added fragrances and it's very lightweight, but it's also great to layer on your skin. So Neogen actually let me know when they were planning to create this essence. And I was so excited because I love Neogen and I love what they create. They actually gave me a few samples before it launched and I had a chance to try it for a really, really long time before it actually ended up becoming live on Soka Glam. I love the fact that it really helps pump up my skin. Um, I love that it really does have this brightening effect as well. So I've finished this bottle um, I and mean, I finished several other samples that they've sent me in the past. People ask me though how this differs from the Han Skin Hyaluron Essence. I would say that the Hyaluron Skin Essence is a little bit thicker in consistency and it also contains hyaluronic acid and sodium hyaluronate which is great for retaining moisture as well as creating moisture. So that product is, is great for hydration mainly hydration. This has more of a hydration and brightening effect. So those are the two differences. I would also say that the Neogen Essence is, it is a slightly uh, lower price point. So if you're new to essences and you want to try something that's more affordable for your budget, I would definitely highly recommend the Neogen Real Firm and Micro Essence. So that's the end of the Soko Glam curation update. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Please let us know if you like the series by giving us a thumbs up or leave us a comment down below. I really want to know if you like the series, if you thought it was too long, too short, if we missed a product that you really wanted to cover. Just share with us your comments and we'll be sure to get back to you guys. All right, thank you guys so much for your love and attention. Bye.